Welcome to the BFME1 Online Battle Arena, this time in a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the map Three Boots of Harnin. We both pick random and I will get to play with the Isengard army. March to Helm's Deep, leave none alive. It's a classical matchup too. We will try our best to beat the Rohan. The furnace and Urupil opening, super important. I like this opening the most, which is, you know, it's debatable to be the best opening, but against Rohan, you can also go um, with only Uruk Pit. My mouse going crazy on me. Okay, so the plan is to protect the outer settlements in the early game, which is super important for the for the elite game situation. We need to get, we need to try our best to get unharmed to the mid game, in which our eco is going to be great. But the beginning is always tough. We don't need to use war chant, by the way, because Uruks are way stronger than peasants anyway, so we don't really need to rush the war chant. We can wait for the second Uruk and then war chant them together. And now we can go for the creep too. Bro, move! You see, I'm clicking! Dude, this Uruk doesn't want to listen to me! Guys, guys, when I lose this game, you are the perfect proof. You saw me clicking to the board. This guy has not the best hoes. It feels like it's a 2v1 situation. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. And also the Hobbit was able to get cloaked. Not great for us. And I think I will feel the creeping too. Okay, more peasants are coming. They're attacking us. They all die. There will be no slacking here. Fix that Can I save this, please? Oh, we get this cloaked. We need more Uruks. We need to get the Uruk pit to level 2 as soon as possible. And we feel the creep too. Oh my goodness. Not good. Just not good. This guy is beating me up, by the way, guys. He's just beating me up. Oh boy. Okay, we need to make sure that the Hobbit can't cloak. Very important, otherwise we cannot recapture the settlement. No, no, no. That's good for us, boys. We are bringing the Hobbit to Isengard. Guard, guard, guard. Okay, now we need to creep this. We are losing everything outside, so we need to make sure that we compensate the loss. Yes, we are also losing the second outer settlement. For the second Warchant, we need to make sure that we group up with all the Uruks and then Warchant them all together so we can get the most out of the situation. Okay, we got even a level 2 Uruk, that's pretty good for us. And we wait for the for the other Uruk to come from the pit. And then we are ready to go, because I'm expecting the Rohirrim very, very soon. But this Uruk will make the Uruk pit to hit rank 2. Beautiful. Now we can recruit some of the pikemen. But in, instead of recapturing the settlement we have lost, we need to make sure that we creep as much as we can to compensate the loss. And also, this way we can deny enemy from creeping and delay the potential Alvin summon. Get ready to fight. We attack soon. These buildings are the Move enemies. Move your feet. I'm getting hungry. Okay, so big war chant, and this Uruk goes there, and this, this, and this. We can move to this creep. Those wolves are gonna fight. Watch out. So unfortunately, we have only one Lumber Mill. That means we have no wood bonus. In order to get the wood bonus, we need to have at least to Lumber Mills, but hopefully we will achieve that goal very, very soon. But before we put defense, we need to put some pressure and use the first pikeman to scout the map, just to see if he's creeping or not. We need to, you know, interfere, so he cannot creep freely. Super important. Okay, go for the other creep. Go, 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 go. So that's gonna be the second creep for us on the map. Three boots of Harden. There are in total six ward layers. We need to make sure that we take at least three of them. Uh, he was creeping, but we can fight this with a level two Uruk there. 
and he already took a lot of damage from the Vorks. But of course, you know, playing that aggressively <laughs> will kind of leave you unprotected. And for that reason, we will be losing some of the settlements outside. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. Because fighting against the elves when you're not ready is just not fun. Come trample me. Nice. Okay. Oh, close. Okay, he will get away, but that's totally fine. Because he needs to now go back to the bees to recover. As he took a lot of damage. And it will cost him, cost him at least some momentum. I also was delayed with the industry quite a bit. But it's fine. So we took three creeps in total on the map three woods of Harden, and there are three more remaining and we need to make sure that we um, get at least one of them, you know? Don't fall behind. Listen up. Okay, so we have Warch unavailable and we can now group all together and do the same what we have done before again. Wake up. We spotted the enemy. This place belongs to the enemy. You know, never change a running system. Never change a running system. So this creep is uncontest. Oh, look, he's trying to creep it. But not on my watch, sir. Not on my watch. So I can group them up now in one place. And we can go for the war chant. And maybe we can even try to take two creeps at the same time with the war chant right now. Go. Berserker dealing so much damage to the buildings. It's great. And again, in exchange, we lose some stuff, but it is totally fine. I want to go for Lourdes, actually, before doing anything else. Go. No, 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 no. Not happening. That ain't happening, bro. Okay, we have Lourdes now. And also later on, we will go for Sharku. The... Two affordable Eisen heroes in the mid game. Okay, I can kill your peasants, no problem. That's one of the easiest ways to kill the peasants in the early game. Your Berserker can 1v1 one one any uh, swordman. So all the soldiers cannot fight the, the Berserker in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Lourdes. My favorite hero. The fighting Urukai. Okay, so in order to hurt your uh, hurt the eco from your opponent, you need to make sure that you destroy their outer settlements on repeat. This way, the enemy farms outside can't hit rank 3. If they do hit rank 3 and if you can't destroy them, the rank 3 resource building is giving hella resources. Oh, I didn't pay attention. And it will help him to grow rich. Because, you know, just like Aizen, also Rohan is a faction that requires a lot of resources to get to the lead game build order. Which basically means he needs to go for the armory, he needs to recruit some heroes, build up the archer range, go for three Yoman archers, fire arrows, all of that shenanigans. So, us destroying his settlements outside will, you know, delay that power spike he's looking for. Watch it! There's one of those berserkers there, laborers. Get to work! Uh, <laughs> he didn't pay attention. <laughs> oh, Gimli! I take it back, bro. You win, you win. Okay, when you see Gimli and you know you can't fight him, don't fight him. You know, it sounds simple, but most people don't do this. They try to fight him, defeat him levels, and then he's gonna become unstoppable. And in order to deny this from happening, all you need to do really is to not fight him. You are a very mobile faction. Gimli is fast, true, but he's not as fast as you are. Your heroes are faster. Your units are faster. So as long as you disengage, he cannot catch you. And there are no more creeps available on the map Tributes of Harnin. So he cannot get experience. He cannot unlock the leap attack. And you don't allow him to. Scout. Industry, use it. Angula, beautiful. Armory next. In order to kill Gimli, we need to get uh, what's good against him. 
he's weak against horses, so Vorgs are horses. And with Vorchant and the Forge Blitz, they will deal hella damage and potentially burst through the thick armor of this guy. I, I don't want to cripple him now, because even if I cripple, I cannot kill him. Okay, abort the mission. He's taking too much damage, my Sharku. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Why are they not working? Bro, it's not your day off, you know? It's Halloween, true. I don't know when you will be watching this video, but it's uh, 31st October, me, me making this video. So it's it's Halloween. But it doesn't mean your the workers have a day off. They need to work. I'm a horrible boss, you know? I will make them work day and night. <laughs> You know, I would love to get Lourdes level 5, but it's difficult because he's disengaging, he's never fighting me. So it's gonna be difficult for me to achieve that goal. Okay, force bleeds, captured, or purchased. Going for the heavy armor next. And then we have left the combination of the pikeman plus the Vork, so we can counter everything that he has to offer. I see Gimli, I see Gimli. So I want to cripple him now. Look, he cannot get away from us because Nurtz is faster than Gimli. Now we are capable of killing him. We have Vorchan available. And also, when we cripple him, he cannot get away. So we cripple him now. Give Forge Bleeds on the Vorks. Hold on a second. Group all together. And use Vorchant. And commit. Ooh, look, he was riding into my thing. Okay, now we, we can we can keep committing. He has no upgrades on the on the horses. He cannot fight this, by the way. We have war chant, we have hole, and we have heavy armor plus forge bleeds. And for the war case scenario, we are also bringing some pikemen just in case you want to fight us. Then we have a counter to the horses. Okay, it looks like you want to give up the outpost, which is smart because he, he needs to know that he cannot protect us. It will go down in either case. Destroy it. Okay, so we have Lourdes still rank 1. <laughs> That's not good. I don't like this. I don't want to go for the outpost. I want to go for the heavy armor first before outpost. When it comes to the armory, I want to, you know, I'm a person, I would like to purchase everything that I want from the armory and demolish it. Right, like now. And then afterwards, I can still go for the outpost. I don't need to rush the outpost, I have time, you know, I don't need to capture it now. But I want to demolish, oh look, this guy is killing my scout. I want to demolish my armory as soon as possible. They are not recovering, by the way. This pikeman, I don't know why they are not recovering. We can fight this. Hole. Sharku, no, 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 no. Bro, bro, you gotta be kidding me. How long are your spears, man? How did you kill me? What, what is the ultimate attack range from this Rohirrim? It's okay. I will... I lost him intentionally to give him some hope, you know what I'm saying? Fight! Warchan is stronger than uh, Theoden leadership. Theoden only gives you 40% damage and 50% armor. But Charco gives you 50% damage and 50% armor. So we are slightly stronger. Destroy it. Take it down. None shall stand Okay, with the, with the Vorks, you can, you know, keep putting pressure on him over and over again. Do this on repeat. Make sure that we kind of bring the fight to him. So he has no time to go into, uh, for going to my bees. And, you know, that's the way I like to play with Aizen. I want to cripple you. But I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. He's too far away. Kill the Rohiri marchers. Um, when it comes to the siege, 
when you want to siege your opponent, I'm a person, I like to play it a bit more safe. Okay, micro. Nice. <laughs> Look, he needs to use the heal, bruh. Uh, I was talking about the siege. When I when I want to siege, I want to play it a bit more uh, safe. And with that, I mean I want to go for Saruman before sieging. Just to make sure that we have a higher chance of not feeling. I'm, I'm going to miss the cripple, by the way. I will cancel it. Because, you know, you can go for the siege without Saruman too. But the chance of feeling is higher in terms of percentage you know everything is math by the way and um, then the siege with saruman being around because saruman will give you armor leadership making your units beefier and um, he has the fireball he has the blast he has the warm tongue of course which is always threatening at any stage of the game Sharku, your war guiders are awaiting you so, instead of going for the siege early and feeling, potentially feeling, and giving the opponent the chance to get a great comeback, because if you feel siege, he has a momentum, and he might get some levels on the heroes, potentially even unlock the glorious charge, all of that stuff can backfire quickly and to lead to your defeat. If we are in a winning spot like we currently are, we can play it a bit more patient, and wait to be fully ready before committing. Okay, I wish we would have some crossbow men in the tower. I don't want to use war chatter actually. Look, he's playing it smart. I could go with the works there, but I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know if he can win this fight or not. He has Theorin, he has Gimli there. So it feels quite risky. Don't let them in! We're waiting! Come on, Warg! Saruman, but I'm gonna go for it anyway, boys. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Let's go! <laughs> for death and glory! Ready to run, boys? This way! I have War Chant. I will use it. It's almost We're under time. attack! Come on, Warg! The Wargs are hungry! <laughs> okay, we kill Gimli then because we cannot catch up to the Theorin. But if he. Oh, look, hold on a second. He's riding in, into me. Okay, we killed Gimli. And this kill will belong to Lourdes. We will give it to Lourdes, okay? Because we are. Come on. One more shot. Nice. That's what we do, okay? That's how we do, that's how we do it. Just, just, just do it. We are actively trying and putting in the time and the effort to level up your uh, most important hero among with Saruman and Charku. <laughs> They're all important actually. But Lord's leadership is so important. Like you dealing 60% more damage is such a quality of life boost for your army. It's unbelievable. And killing Theorin would bring us or did bring us very big step closer to the spike. Um, I mean, he has highly level through hit him 3 with 2 situation, but we have armor leadership from Sharku. Mm, no! Please! Oh my god. Okay. I, sh I underestimated your power. My bad. But you see, we are always bringing the fight to them. That's what's up, you know? That's what's important. And Saruman, the great wizard, the first history who was sent to the Middle Earth, is about to be there on the battlefield. Okay, we need to shoot the cross, uh, the Rohir Marcha. Nice. So they are weak versus fire arrows, you know, and we will protect this outpost at all costs. And the heal was unneeded, though. When you disengage, you don't need to use heal because you will go back to the castle for the well anyway. So don't waste your heal like this. Everybody is thinking that power points are for free, but it's not. Time is also a resource in this game and you want to use your... invest your time wisely, you know? 
Okay, so we need to make some army now. And then we will go for the siege. And I will do this differently than Saruman did in the films. Because Saruman didn't really actively join the battlefield. And guide the Uruk to a potential victory. The Uruks didn't have a captain. They just were like, okay, we are outnumbering, let's just run it down. That was the tactic of the Uruks. But if Saruman would be on the field with his wisdom and his uh, decision making, you know, he could maybe help the Uruks to do smarter things. Like maybe hero focus. Okay, we need to kill Aragorn. Everybody focus on Aragorn. Put all the crossbowmen on, on Aragorn. Kill the elf, kill the Gimli, you know? And then afterwards, you kill the king of Rohan. And then it's easy game, because then it's deja vu. It's a different situation, because all of a sudden, they have no leaders. They have no captains. They are lost. That's why you can't simply send the army when they are strong, but stupid. You know, they are not strong. They are not uh, smart. No rasping. I'm watching you. But in this case, I'm your captain. So I will make sure that the mistake won't happen. Ooh. Okay, we are about to start the sieging party. March to Helm, Steve. <laughs> Look, you see, the Rohan is getting stronger and stronger. That's why we need to be uh, fast now. Because we can't just linger. You know, we can't just wait until he gets more Rohirrim archers, until he gets stronger. Because in the super late game, no faction can keep up with the mobility advantage and the map control dominance with Rohan, you know? With plenty of Rohirrim archers, he has the chance to kill the Vorks, he has the chance to kill the heroes, and also, of course, the pikemen. So... Look, the crossbowmen damage stuff, we are melting them, oh my god, you see? That's a whole battalion gone, which is quite expensive. You bring the fight to them. Oh my god, how did he destroy it, actually? I'm telling you, this, this Rohirrim have, like, crazy attack uh, range. I will kill you. Can we not make peace, you and I? Nope. He's gonna call it. GG well played, my friend. This guy is not a bad player, by the way. He's not a bad player. Okay, but he's not leaving either. So he's beating me. Let's steal them. Warm tongue. No, he's outsmarting me there with the X button, <laughs> running into different directions. But he called it and he didn't quit. I don't know what I should think about this. Because I don't like the behavior, I would have to punish him. And you know when I, when I like to punish people, you know what I like to do? By the way, the room I'm in is so cold, uh, you know, it's in the basement, <laughs> and it's so cold, boys, you can't even imagine my fingers are freezing, so I, I, I'm, I'm losing clicks. I can't afford to heat the room, I'm, bo I'm poor guy, bro, bro. I'm broke. Okay, now the siege will be successful. Let's get some more Vorks, because I like to get Vork Riders when I get into the base from, from my opponent. I would, uh, because he needs to focus on my army and my, my heroes like Saruman and Lourdes, my Vorks in the meantime can clean up all the base. All the structures. No, 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 no. You ain't getting away from me, boy. Get over here. <laughs> uh, don't, don't let him destroy it. Oh my goodness, bro. Oof, what a fireball. Fireball. Okay, one part of the wall is broken. But is it, is it enough? Nope. It is not enough. I need Lourdes level 5, boys. I need him level 5 so badly. Okay, watch. Watch what I'm gonna do now to this Ilma. Watch it. 
Oh, Lord, be careful. <laughs> don't go into suicide mission. I can't. I don't want to cripple you, actually. Look this Eoma. Look the horse lord. <laughs> Jokes on you. <laughs> I'm so evil sometimes. But I told you, I need to teach him teach my lesson. When you call it GG, you leave. If you don't leave, then this is gonna happen. And if you think that was all, nope. Wait for the for the real punishment. <laughs> Who's looking for trouble? Strap it in. Okay, so it's time to group up all the units in one place. And then we go in with Freezing Rain, with Warchant, we have a double leadership with Saruman and Warchant. He has no leadership thanks to the Freezing Rain. So, you know, with math you can calculate the odds. The odds are in our si on our side, you know? Almost time. Right. Through the army, and then we can use Warchant all together. Let's take them hunting. They're attacking. Go. Rain. It's raining day. Hallelujah. Okay, let's go for the wild distraction first, so they cannot recover. They cannot sustain. Go. <laughs> let's go. I like to work army, bro. I like to have the diversity in my army, you know what I'm saying? Cripple. You cannot move, Gimli Sam. Hey, GG, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. Let me just bomb you one time. I want to punish you. Let me bomb you, please. Okay, let's kill the Rohir Marcha. So they cannot... Uh, you know, deploy the bomb. Look at the Superman. He doesn't want to die. He just got rain three, though. Ha boom! <laughs> okay. I will not finish you off this way, bro. I will kill your uh, Rohirrah matches first. Oh, look, the heroes. Theodine, welcome. Welcome, King. Hey, everybody say hello, King. And everybody say bye bye, King. Everybody say hello, Horse Master. Everybody say, you know. I'm trolling. But it's the explosive mine. It's coming. It's coming. Yes. 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 Let's go. Watch. Wait for it. Where was Condor when the three boots of Harnin fell? Three boots, he means, I think. Okay, let's go. Okay, I will be, I mean, like crazy. I will also put my heroes next to the explosive mine. Are you guys ready for the Christ Christmas? Uh, for the Halloween special? Halloween special, do it! <laughs> GG, well played, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do, leave a like, subscribe. I will see you next time, until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.